What's going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix and correct audio in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial. So first of all, you want to make sure that you have your video and audio in the timeline. So once it's in the timeline, you're going to see that there is some audio that is peaking, especially this one right here, which is a song that I have imported. I don't want to play it right now because I'm probably going to blow your eardrums and you're going to go deaf, which is not a good thing. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and mute it by pressing V on the keyboard to actually mute that track. Uh, this works on tracks that are video tracks, audio tracks, or both. Just, uh, just a little tip for you. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And this is some gameplay footage, my gameplay footage, that I recorded on my PlayStation 4. So if you guys haven't added me, I'm going to post my PSN in the description. But along with that, I also created a new gaming channel. Uh, so go and subscribe. It's called King HD. And if you guys like the name, then tell me in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys don't like it, then just tell me. Uh, maybe, I should, maybe I should change it. Maybe I should just keep it. But uh, just let me know. Uh, I just, I just, you know, created a channel named it King HD. So I just thought it was cool. Just let me know, guys. And also, guys, there's nothing on that channel yet. But I'm gonna be providing a link right now on the screen. If you're on a PC, click on that and please subscribe to my new gaming channel. For those that are watching on mobile, look in the description and it should be the first link. So here's some gameplay footage. I did. I tried not to give away a lot of the footage, but let me go ahead and play it back and. Let me just start it right here. What's going on guys? It's King HD, not King Touch Pro, but King HD. All right, so uh, this is of course some audio that I have recorded. It's a voiceover and let me go ahead and fit to zoom right here in the timeline by pressing Shift Z on the keyboard. You're gonna see here that there's pretty much not a lot to edit, but there are some parts where you can edit, uh, especially in this part here. Uh, so in order to actually you know, fix that, we're gonna go ahead and zoom in to see what we're doing. Now to change the height of this, just click this little button here and then it's going to give you the clip appearance. Here, usually it's going to be like this normally. I like to keep it around here when I'm editing audio in Final Cut Pro. I don't really edit audio in Final Cut Pro. I usually use uh, Audacity for that, but it's Final Cut Pro, so what can you do? So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in here. And you're going to see that it's peaking and to know if your audio is peaking, you're going to see yellow lines. I'm going to unmute that. You're going to see yellow lines with red, and that means it's clipping. The audio is going to be clipping, it's going to be distorted, and it's going to sound terrible. So make sure that it's not like this. And the first thing you always want to do is just make all the audio here, make that so it's leveled with the decibels here. And it should be zero, and which is just your normal volume. So drag that down so everything matches or is around the line right here which is about negative six decibels because it was loud it's it's going into the negatives but if it's quiet it might go up to eight or twelve or four it just depends how loud or quiet your audio is if right here if we go ahead and play it back now oh but <laughs> so you can see that the audio here sounds much better than before uh, before it was at zero, which is this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. By the way, turn down your uh, volume and headphone users. Uh, I'm just giving you a little heads up because just a little warning. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play it so you guys can hear it. So you can tell that it just sounds really bad. It's just distorted, it's clipped, and it sounds horrible. So you also want to make sure that everything is roughly the same. Let me go ahead and fit everything. So everything does seem to be, you know, just around uh, around the line right here, which should be zero, but right now it's at negative six. So you can see if we zoom in here, you're going to see that this was the original audio. And this is zero, which is, you know, zero decibels, but it says negative six because we went down to zero. You can see that this is the original audio here, and this is the uh, the after audio, if that makes any sense. <laughs> in order to actually fix some of this audio, uh, maybe you want to increase it, maybe you want to decrease the audio. We're not going to be working with this one uh, for now. We're going to be working with my voiceover, because that's what most people like to edit. So I'm going to go and zoom in here. Also, when it comes to music, you want to be careful with what you edit, because the song is made that way, so you can't really change it. You can if it's too quiet, if the song is just about right and around zero decibels, you want to keep it like that, okay? Right here, it's kind of peaking, so in order to fix this, you have pretty much three different ways. Of course, the first one was to decrease it by going down just a bit, and that should make everything leveled. 
and there, there's still some that is level there's some right here but it's not a big deal you just want to make sure that's around there but let's say it was like i don't know let's say some of the audio was peaking and let's go to this one right here because this one seems pretty big i'm also going to mute this um, track just by dragging it all the way down also if you drag it all the way down it's going to mute the whole track completely so i'm going to zoom in here and you can see here that it just completely peaks right here you can tell so to fix that we're gonna go over to first of all make sure you select your clip go over to the inspector window here go to audio right there so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go over to audio and once you're here again select your clip and it should be right here in the beginning part move the timeline uh just a little bit before the peaking audio there now click this little plus icon it says add a keyframe that will just create one keyframe move it a little bit forward just like that also to delete a keyframe all you got to do is click it it will turn orange once it has been selected right click and click delete uh, delete keyframe i want to add it on here so click this little plus icon and if that doesn't work just simply drag it back i don't know why final cut pro is being weird but <laughs> uh move it forward and then click the plus icon once again and again the reason we do this is because if we only do two it's not going to work because you need another frame to keep it from moving down on both sides. This will just pretty much separate it from the rest. So now we got to select both of these. Don't select just one so it turns orange and then you move it down because it's going to go like that. Now if your intentions were to do that, you could do that of course, but I'm not going to be doing that in this tutorial. But if you hold down command, I believe it's shift, that will um, also select multiple items in Final Cut Pro if you didn't know that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one and hold shift and click the other one. And we also want to click this one here so click shift or you can just click right here and that will select it make sure you click in between the two lines in between these two other keyframes on the outside then drag that down just a little bit and it should not be peaking so it should not be yellow or orange so you can see that if we zoom in even more into the timeline here you can see that the audio kind of fades a little bit downwards and that is totally normal that's what you want to happen people don't really know this because it's going so fast especially in these frames so if you were to play it up once i get more games and stuff like you couldn't really tell um now of course you can tell if you drag this way back here or actually if you move it closer you can really tell i get more games and as you can tell if we play it back up once i get more games and stuff like it's less noticeable so if you drag this a little bit more to the left it's gonna it's gonna take longer to fade and people won't really notice it unless you were to drag this like all the way forward so right here you can see that there's just a straight line and you can and people will tell immediately that the audio has been corrected so if we were to go ahead and play it i get more games and stuff you can see that this just doesn't sound so good so the further away the less noticeable the you know the audio has been modified and you want to keep it roughly i don't know like this in between so if we were to zoom out you could barely tell and it's gonna go down and then it's gonna go up it's gonna be like a w sort of and right here again you want to make sure you edit only the peaking audio so you don't want to select this part here because if you select that you're gonna be lowering that too so again same thing uh, just create the keyframe. I also want to show you a different way and that is actually by cutting this clip to do that Go over to the tool selection go down to blade which will pretty much is the trim tool in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro uh, And the shortcut is B so click right here move this forward Just like that until it ends and then go back to the select tool click in between and drag that down that's another option if you guys want to work a little bit faster but the bad thing is it's going to be more noticeable because there's no fade and that's the reason i don't like this technique i like the other one where you could actually use keyframes and that's more it gives you more flexibility also if you want to make this even louder then all you have to do um it's really easy guys all you have to do is go over to where it says audio enhancements you're gonna see equalization now if you click that you can actually change this i don't recommend you guys doing this because on some uh soundtracks and audio uh it will really mess it up so just keep that in mind but i think a safe one to go with is loudness and that will just make it a little bit louder as you can tell right here but <laughs> yeah that's one way you could also even make your own by clicking this little button here and this will bring up the graphic equalizer and here you could actually modify and customize however you want this to be so maybe you can increase where it says the for 32 hertz you could bring it up to 3.96 decibels maybe you want to maybe you want to decrease the uh, this part here but you can see that once i start editing the 
the audio here on the graphic equalizer, you can see that it's taking effect here in the timeline. So if we were to make this a little bit louder, of course the audio is going to get louder. If we were to increase it all the way up, it's going to peak, which is not what you want. Also, you can see that there's 10 bands. If you want more to even go further in detail to actually edit your audio, click on this and you will have 31 bands. And this will really give you a lot of options to really change and customize how you want to um, edit your audio. Depending on what you're using, it comes in handy and sometimes doesn't. So where it says audio analysis, and by the way, if you want to reset everything you've done, just click this little button here. It's like the return button and that will just reset everything on the selected clip. You go over to audio analysis. It says not analyzed. If you import uh, videos that have audio or just audio files, usually it will say analyze because you have something checked and that is in the import option. So if we were going to import media on the right side, depending on what version you're using, I'm using Final Cut Pro 10.2.2, I believe. If we go over to audio in the bottom right, you're gonna see three options here. You're gonna have analyze and fix audio problems, which is usually checked. And if that is checked, it's gonna be over here and it's gonna say analyze. Usually I don't have this checked because it messes up my audio, especially voiceovers when I'm recording my voice. I don't usually like to do this. I have it unchecked because I have already edited my voice in Audacity and I don't want Final Cut Pro um, editing or fixing audio because it kind of makes it sound weird. Like the reverb is just really bad. I suggest you guys don't have this checked just for the sake of helping you guys. So. Um, but if you do want to analyze your audio, make sure it's selected and then go to this little arrow button. It's going to give you this little loading icon and if you click here, it's going to show you what is actually happening in the background tasks and it says transcoding and analysis and it actually analyzes your audio to see if there's any problems with your audio or voiceover or music or whatever. Now you can increase it like I said if you already made it, uh, you know, you, you drag this all the way up and it can't go any further which is 12 decibels which is the highest it can go. So if we click on loudness it's going to make it louder. Of course this is not the max but let's say it was, it will make it a little bit louder. Background noise removal, I don't have this checked because it kind of makes this, the background noise a little, you can hear like a little uh, buzzing noise and it's really annoying. So I don't usually have this checked, again I use Audacity, I'm not sponsored by Audacity by the way. but. Um, that is where I usually edit all of my stuff for audio because it's an audio program, but it does come in handy. It's a good tool to use if you don't, you know, if you already have Final Cut Pro and you don't want to download anything else, you can just use this option here to remove the background noise and it does a pretty good job. It's not bad, but if you do, make sure you keep it low. Don't go over 50% because it just sounds really bad. And the hum removal, I don't have that checked. Um, so yeah, also if you don't feel like doing anything, you can actually click auto enhance and that will actually um, automatically uh, enhance your audio. So now it will say analyze and it's going to say no problems detected if your audio is not bad. Yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for this video. If you found this video helpful in any way, then please, please leave a rating below. That will be just awesome guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my new gaming channel. I will post a link in the description so you guys could check that out first link on the top you could also click it in the screen if you're on a pc so that's pretty much it for this video comment down what you guys thought of this video leave a suggestion for next time and i will catch you guys on my next video until then peace out take care and enjoy your day